Your ear is itchy as fuck. I'm it glad I can my... hear that. <laughs> right here. Okay. Well, this is an excellent intro into this episode. <laughs> I, I, I hope you all put that in your spank bank like I just did. Mm. <laughs> So we're back. The votes are in from the live. Let me get the live chat up. Let me restart the thingy that tells me when I need to stop. And unmute the other thingy that gives us the background noise. Okay, okay. Where do we do this here? Because I want the actual numbers. Um, between Facebook Live and my Twitch chat, we have seven votes for Yuri and one for Natsuki. So there's clearly no love for Sayori. And, and no I, I, I cannot make an opinion on Monica because I know there's at least one or two people that will blow my chat up with two words that I am not going to say. <laughs> okay, so let's get this party started. Here's my moose. You're in. Oh my god! He picked it. He picked it. I did he the thing. It. He picked it. We're running this ship I started into this game since, ah! what, two weeks ago? Into the floor. Well, I'll probably be most useful helping out Yuri. Mm. Yeah, yeah, Dragon, I mean you and the bond. Me? Or the chat pad. <gasps> no, video is frozen now. Which video? Which video? Is it this one? Is it this one? Hold on, I can check. I have my Twitch up. We're still good. No. See? Oh, okay, now okay. See? Now, now we're good. Well, yeah, because we're playing it a visual novel. One. Unless I push the button, it doesn't do a thing. <laughs> it's got a bunch of stuff going on there, but... No? I, think, I, I hope it comes back. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. <laughs> Wait, I have it. A... You have a thing? Oh, they PM'd it to me. That was cool. Well, they got a shout out. Anyway, thanks again, Goons Gaming. Even for being all stealthy and whispering it to me on Twitch. Okay. Are you serious? Let's uh, gotta click in the thing. Why would you. Natsuki? I can already tell what you're about to that you're about to say something mean. N no. I was just saying. Ugh. So, you'll be helping Yuri then, Nerve. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm glad. I have a bad habit of overthinking these sort of things. So I think your assistance will be very useful. That's great to hear. Natsuki, will you be able to handle the baking yourself? I mean, yeah. I already said I would be fine. Okay, okay. Everyone can, can tell that Natsuki is feeling a little sour. So, is that everything we needed to go over? Yeah, that should be about it. Are you guys excited? Well, excited may not be the right word. But I suppose I'm looking forward to it a little bit. Do you feel the same way, Nerf? Me? Uh, I, I guess you could say that I'm interested to see how it all turn out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Natsuki? Mm. Natsuki? What? Why is everyone yelling at me? I didn't even do anything! No, no. That's not what I meant at all. <sighs> Yuri anxiously glances between everyone in the room. <sighs> I'm, I'm sorry for this. I don't really know why Nerf picked me. And also, your cupcakes are the best cupcakes I've ever had. They go really well with my tea. And nothing I can do for the event will compare to that, so... So, I get it, I get it. I'm kind of surprised, though. Why? Um, well, I'm the one acting immature. I already know that. But, you're trying to cheer me up all of a sudden. Uh, 
I know I'm not very good at it. I'm sorry if I said anything bad. Natsuki isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I are also taken aback by Yuri's words. When she already has trouble with words, trying to cheer someone up must be far out of her own comfort zone. But I begin to understand. Yuri was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell that she tried to say something Sayori would say at a time like this. Because Sayori always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. No. I kind of appreciated it. I'm sorry for making a big deal out of nothing. But I'm going to say this. Hmm? You better bet that my cupcakes are going to be the best part of this whole event. <laughs> I believe you. Yeah. I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. Alright, let's get out here then. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Natsuki out the door as they chat between each other. Um... Huh? I turn around. Sorry. I realized that I don't have any way of contacting you this weekend. Oh, you're right. I can't believe that slipped my mind. I should give you my phone number. I think that would be the best way, yes. Alright then. You and I exchange phone numbers. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Brown chicken, wow, wow. Brown chicken, brown cow. <laughs> Then I'll be stopping by your house on Sunday. Oh my. Eh? Uh, my house? Uh, is that a problem? No, not at all. I just thought that I would be the one going to your house, since I'm the one helping you. Ah, uh, I suppose that makes sense. <clears throat> but if you don't mind, I think I would prefer going to your house. All right. In that case, it won't be a problem. Damn straight. I decide not to press Yuri for a reason. Damn straight. It's not like it should matter either way, so I'll just need to make sure my room is clean. I hope I manage to make myself useful in some way. <laughs> I'm not nearly as creative as you are. Wow, that does sound like me. Fuck me, man. I don't know what she's saying. Just cupcakes. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Be there, be there, be there. <laughs> Thanks, the bot. Have the condoms. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. You guys. Dacoon. Damn, shots fired. Alright. Don't underestimate yourself, Nerf. I think that will make a very productive team. Even if you only choose me because you felt bad or something. That was nice. Yes, first playthrough. Wait. You don't actually think that, do you? Mm. I don't know. It's difficult to come up with any other reason you may have chosen me. You're forgetting the one reason with the most common sense. I chose to help you because that's what I want to do. But... Yuri thinks to herself with an extremely tense expression. Yuri, you're overthinking this. You wanted me to point out when you're overthinking, right? Mm hmm. I didn't realize. I'm telling you, I want to. That's all there is to it. Do you believe me? I... Yuri thinks really hard again. She looks straight into my eyes for a long while. I believe you. As if it took her tremendous effort, Yuri finally says that and relaxes her expression. 
I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Yeah. I am too. After that exchange, I make my way out the door, and Yuri follows. I can't believe this! Yuri's going to be coming over to my house on Sunday? My anxiety shoots through the roof. Even though I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point, there's no telling what might end up happening when we're out outside of school. More than that, she told me that she was looking forward to it. Is this the chance I have to make something happen between us? Or is it too early for that? Only time will tell. But until then, I won't be able to take my mind off of it. I seriously can't wait. We're getting all kinds of... Are we? My first playthrough, are we... We're good, apparently. Oh. Um, we are not professional voice actors. No, we are not. Me oh, Daku's speaking for me. He's Yay. so sweet. I stream games and I make funny voices. He streams <laughs> games and makes all the funny I'm voices? I'm trying to be a voice actor, but I'm using my real voice for the character, which is something interesting. Is it? Do you never use your own voice? No, because I always do it for cosplay stuff. Oh, okay. So I'm always like in some kind sense. of character, and I've been really, really having kind of a thing for the Cell voice from Dragon Ball mm -hmm. Z Abridged. I've been having way too much fun with that during Zelda. Okay. Um, Thousand Eyes, thank you for thinking that we are professional voice actors, but we, we are in fact not. I most certainly am not. Nerve is a lot closer. Uh, I'm on the yet. <laughs> He's on the yet. I like I like the yet because then we can just change the T to a, an S and it would be yes. See? Could you do that? I cannot do Johnny Young Bosch to save my life. I have tried tooth and nail. Sorry, Daku. I'm actually the Legato cosplayer. Thousand Eyes wants to hear your cell impression. Cell impression? Okay. <clears throat> Let's get into this. Mr. Sadman, won't you bring me a dream? Make him the cutest that I'd ever seen. Oh. Hello, friend. You want to see a neat trick? I have yet to watch that. Now I need to. Now you have to. Now I have to. I was doing that when I was playing Zelda for one of the characters. Oh my god. I just god. broke into it, and I just... I did all kinds of crazy voices in my Zelda playthrough. Thank you very much, Thousand Eyes! Oh my god, Thousand Eyes, you're so sweet! Right here. You, you made the burn spot where my heart used to be actually, like, do a thing. More than the game did. And, and that, you that, made it go doki doki. You make my heart go doki doki. Doki doki. Alright, it's already Sunday. I'll wait till you catch Aww, up on your thank stuff. Thank you, Roxy. Uh, uh, she was just saying that I too that uh, do pretty good with it, with it, like going back and forth between the different characters. And yeah. Which voice go belongs to who? And that's the hardest so. thing to do. Thank you. Because even when I practice going back and forth between characters, I so still screw up. Oh, do you really? Mm -hmm. oh. Well, because I do. One of the ones I do is uh, Tales of the Abyss, because that's the same voice actor. I forget his real name. It mm -hmm. does uh, Sasuke from uh, Naruto. Oh. But he plays. Without doing any spoilers, essentially, he's two variations of the same character. Oh. So he does, like, his normal, like, no, you gotta understand, I'm the one to do it. And then he's got, like, his gruff version, he's like, you have no right to be saying that, replica! Oh. And just doing that in my regular-ish voice. Okay. Oh, shit. Well, that, and they go lightning fast, because when you record that stuff in ADR, you don't do it all in one scene. No, 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 no. And I'm doing it all in one yeah, scene, yeah. switching back and forth, like, I apparently Jesus. hate myself. <laughs> Okay, so it's already Sunday. Hey, you wanna do- Oh, Thousand Eyes, you want me to do the yeah, other- I could it. totally do the others. Um, so, there's Yuri, and then there's Natsuki, and then there's Monica, and then there's Sayori. There you go. <laughs> She's good. Don't let her lie to you. I try. Don't let her lie. Oh, Doctor. I literally just did it. Good timing on your part over here, though. All right, so it's already Sunday. I've been getting increasingly anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but 
but it doesn't help much. Nah. Yuri is clearly an introvert, and also an intimate person in general. There's no doubt that she'll open up a little bit when she's just the two of us. That that no. Meanwhile, we've been texting occasionally. She was extremely extremely apprehensive at first, but it wasn't long before I was already learning more about her. But putting Yuri aside, I haven't heard a thing from Sayori since she left the club early the other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything. But I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Sayori said and what Monica said. Is it really okay for me to put Sayori's feelings aside when she might need me? Hmm. I decided to visit Sayori before Yuri comes over. Oh, fuck mm -hmm. me running. This ain't gonna end well. <sighs> Rather than asking, I simply tell her, I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering it myself. Again, we used to play so often that we've made it a habit of simply entering each other's houses like we were oh family. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. The fact that he feels the need to say this. You want me to say it? I'm not ready for this. The house is quiet. Sayori isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. It's already strange of her not to run down and greet me. I head up to her bedroom, where I finally find her. Sayori? Oh, oh my god! god! <laughs> we thought she was like dead or something! Oh! I don't like you, game! Oh! Okay, okay, no, that's oh. fine, that's fine. Ooh. Hi, Nerve. I sit down in her room. Sayori forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that it's that she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? Uh, I guess you're right. It has been a long time. No, my heart went heart heart attacky, heart attacky again. <laughs> One second. Her voice still confuses me, and I don't. I don't why like her normal voice has never matched in my mind and I have no idea why I love it though and why I love her. Wait, oh, wait, so my normal voice doesn't match the way I look, is that what you're saying, Daku? We have a, a comment. Anyway, shall I continue while he types? Oh, that's you. Not much has changed, has it? Sarah's room is as messy as it always has been. I also recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decorations that she's had for years now. <laughs> he said C. Oh, so my normal voice sounds sounds weird to what you think to what you think it is. What does my normal voice sound like? <laughs> it's what he thinks his normal voice sounds like in his mind. If you came over more often. It wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I end up cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see Yuri today? Yeah, but... Wait. How did you know that? Sayori had already left by the time we decided that last meeting. Monica told me. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? Uh, that's true. But what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course. But I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. That was not actually it is easier um to have somebody because we can kind of I think we fuel each other's energy when we do yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, like, no. Really bad, because my first five episodes of this, uh, me and my roommate Esteban did, and it was like my normal videos on stream. Full of really bad humor, poor voice acting, because neither one of us could hit any of these girls' voices. <laughs> well, at least. Um, and then when me and you started it, 
it got like super serious quick. Very quickly. Very like quickly. even Dream Daddy, I'm kind of still screwing around a little bit more mm-hmm. on. Um, but De- uh, Devin's got a lot of easier job than you do because she's got a voice act like two girls. Oh, two. And not like back to back like this oh, very often. Oh, so she can super separate it out. Yeah, and even then, and for me, I'm over here trying to do like two dads trying to screw back to back. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that got weird. That I got bet. weird. <laughs> All right. So Oh, uh, I already said that link. Okay. Ah. So it's just me and Yuri then. Yep. There's more silence between us. Sari stares in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you were doing. After you left on Friday, when something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So, Sayori smiles, shaking her head. That's no good, nurse. Huh? Why can't it just be like it's always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings, if I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have even been thinking about me right now. But this is just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. It just wants to torture me. <laughs> Sayori! Wow, that's depressing as hell. I grabbed Sayori by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know. I won't be able to stop thinking about it! (laughs) Sayori gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Nerf. But... You're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayori? (laughs) <laughs> You're really just gonna make me say it, aren't you, Nerve? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is, I've had really bad depression my whole life. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days, I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am. Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and caring to waste by having them spend it on me? That's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy. Without anyone worrying about me. Uh, I'm in shock. Damn. This hit me in the feels, and I'm really trying to act through it. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Sayori kept this from me the entire time that I've known her? Did she really want so badly for me to just not think about her? Why? Sayori. Hmm? Why is it that you never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you! Even if there's only so much I could do. I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend! All you had to do was tell me! You don't understand it all, nurse. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. 
It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes. But it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. <laughs> That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then, I discovered something else too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone else in the club, it feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why. That's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. Oh, my phone's on fire. Is your phone okay? Yeah. Well, it ended the... It ended it. I just have to start it again. Okay, we can take a sec. Okay. We're getting the Facebook Lives back up. I'm gonna tag you again. <sighs> Dragoon. I am not prepared for this at all, even though I kind of know what bullshit's gonna happen. Whew. I know this game's gonna hit me in the feels, I don't know about you there, Lorelei. It may or may not make me do the cryings. Well, you know, odds are, if one of us starts crying, we're both going down with the ship. <laughs> and I will go down with the ship. I'm actually kind of glad that it, you had to restart Facebook Live, it gave me a sec to reset <laughs> my emotions. <laughs> to get yourself together? Ooh, I was tearing up. Were you? Oh, I get attached to fictional you characters. Do. Near a automata <laughs> made me cry. Aww. Oh my god, Thousand Eyes. This performance dope. <sighs> also, who's Malarek? Oh, Malarek that hosted. That's um one of my friends from the Springs. Oh, hi. Hi, thank you. It's Malarek Hi guys. In. <laughs> Malarek's in Sorry, in, everything really dropped and it got depressing. We're gonna keep going though. Yep. So we're gonna the, the happiness keep on that this the has been for twelve episodes. I'm guessing right now during the math tonight is just about to go down the, the toilet. Oh my god, it's so. Hi Taryn. Hi Tapigan. Hi you. Hi Dakun. I'm happy you guys are here watching. We're hitting the depressive parts. So yes. Uh, ready? You ready? We're not ready, but I'm we gotta ready, do it. But we gotta. Okay. Click. You're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayori. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting. That's what I'll do. No, Nerf. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped is if everything could be like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Tears streaked down Sayori's face. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. And I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you came here, and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one! Without thinking, I once again grab Sayori's shoulders. This time, I pull her into a tight embrace. Ah. Nerf. Sayori! I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus! But please, never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Nerf. Sayori isn't hugging me back. No! Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sayori's arms remain at her sides. No! She starts sobbing next to my ear. No. Don't do this to me. Please don't do this. I... Siri barely manages to speak between her sobs. 
I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. But all I want is for her to know that I care. If you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything you need me to do, then you'd better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gently, Sayori finally puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't un understand any of my feelings, Nerf. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But your hugs are so warm. And that's really scary, too. Sayori lets me go. As she does so, I let her go as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Uh, um... Uh... It's what I want. I promise. I... I think that would be nice then. Yeah. Sari wipes your eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't! Please don't. If you did that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But... It's almost time for Yuri to meet at my house. At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. To my surprise, Sayori shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be very good for me today. You understand, right? Uh, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand. But I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry about it too much. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Alright. I look forward to it. Dang, wait, hold on. Just like... Wow. Yeah. Okay. okay. This is what you really that. signed up oh, for. Oh my god. And also we're signing up for a break because uh, I have a feeling the next scene is going to be a hell of a scene change Thank too. You, Ashlyn. <laughs> Alright, everyone. Facebook Live, obviously you get to watch me run around and micromanage my computer. Yes. Um, those of you on the Twitch, stay tuned. Um, YouTube, you know, next episode. Hit the subscribe button. Get those notifications up. Because I don't drop these back to back. I mix this in with other things I make episodes of. Um, because I, I did promise Lorelai Cosplay that this is our thing. He did. He really did. And when I sell my soul, I sell my soul for 100%. <laughs> So we that will was be intense. right back.